Maybe you're having issues with the battery in your Saab. Maybe it's not working correctly. Maybe it does. Maybe you just want to do a checkup on the battery. In that case, you need a battery analyzer. So today we're going to take a look at the Foxwell BT705. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcus and this is Saab Course. So today we're going to take a look at the Foxwell BT705. It's a battery analyzer in case you want to analyze your battery in your car. Maybe it's not working properly or maybe you just want to know the status of it. So this is going to be a unboxing and we're going to try the instrument on a battery that I have here on the desk. So this battery has been sitting on the shelf for I don't know, maybe a year, I charged it to 100% and then I just had this as a spare battery. So it's a couple of years old, I don't know the status of it. We're going to try the analyzer on this and we're going to try the analyzer on a car as well. We're going to try it on the old generation 9.5. So the battery in the old generation 9.5 is probably six or seven years old now. So it's time for a checkup. So we're going to do that as a second part, but first let's get going with the unboxing. So let's move on with the unboxing. So the case is wrapped with some paper here with some pictures and on the back you have a features and benefits list telling you the specification and all the different possibilities you have with the instrument. So it can measure with different standards and so on, depending on what type of battery. So let's take this out and look inside the case. So it's a very nice case, you get this in. And when we open this, we find a brochure with all the different Foxwell products. So it ranges from OBD scanners to battery analyzers and also a uh, inspection camera and a oscilloscope as well. Four channel os oscilloscope, quite nice. And here we have the battery analyzer itself. You also get a small manual. It's not very thick because you really don't need it. Everything will be explained on the screen when connecting it to a battery. So doing the test is dead easy. You just need to enter a few things, the cold cranking amp and the type of battery. This just shows you the different screens you get and also the different result you get when doing a test. So it can range from Good battery, good recharge, re charge and retest, replace battery and bad cell replace. And depending on which test you do, if it's out of the vehicle, you get this. If it's in the vehicle, you might have issues with the charging as well. And then you will get the message regarding that. So that was the thin manual. And inside the box, we find the analyzer itself. So this is what it looks like. Quite nice with this rubber around it. And on the front you have a few buttons. You have menu, back, up, down, left, right and enter. And also the button for the optional Bluetooth printer. So if you do a test you can get the full report printed on a piece of paper. Quite nice. So let's take the case out of the way and move on with the first test. So this is not powered by itself, it's always powered by the battery of course. It has a cable with clamps, so one for the negative terminal, the black one and one for the positive terminal, the red one. So always make sure you connect it right to the battery. In my case I have the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here. So let's continue and connect the instrument. Positive and negative. And once it starts, 
It beeps, it shows battery analyzer on the screen and it will show the current voltage of the battery directly. So the next thing we want to do is to press menu and here we have battery test option, view print, language and Bluetooth depending on what you want to do. So not many options, which is good because it makes it a bit easier. So let's continue with the battery test. It's a 12 volt system. You can also select a 24 volt system if you like. And this battery is out of the vehicle. The terminals are on the top. So you can select the top or side. I guess it has some kind of difference. Not sure because I don't have any experience of the side terminal variant. It's a regular battery. And here we select CCA and I'm going to enter the CCA that is stated on the battery. Uh, 615 amps and it starts to test. I'm going to select above 0 degrees Celsius because we're inside and it's summer. And here I can select if I want to do this test with the battery fully charged or if it doesn't or maybe you don't know the status of the battery. So this battery has been on the shelf for some time. I haven't charged this for I think a year. So this is uh, before charge. So we're going to select that. And here we get a result. So it says charge retest. So this battery needs a recharge and a retest. That means I have to charge this. That would take some time. And then I need to do the test again to see that it's okay. So I will do that another day. But for this video, this is the result we get. So here it shows the voltage. 12.37, I entered a cold cranking amp value of 615 and it measured a value of 412. Second page shows three different parameters, SOH and SOC and resistance. You can Google these online, I'm not going to go in depth regarding the parameters here. I know SOC is the state of charge, it says 71%, so I guess if I charge it, it should show almost 100%. So let's go back. Let's look in the view menu. And that's the result. And here you have the language and it's English, Spanish, French, German and Netherlands. Bluetooth works kind of the same way as in a phone. You search for a Bluetooth printer and you add it to the Foxwell battery analyzer. And version info, which version this has. I don't know if it's upgradable or not. If it is, the only way will be through Bluetooth because there is no other connection on the uh, instrument itself. So that's basically the test with a battery out of the vehicle. Now it's time for doing a test on a battery that's in a vehicle. So here I am outside with the old generation 9.5. I have no idea how the status of the battery is. I know that I fully charged this maybe around six months ago. Uh, I have been trickle charging the battery every now and then for the past 3-4 years. So probably that's why it's still working because this was actually put in there in 2013. So it's a Saab original battery, 70 amp battery, the same one as you saw on the disc. So let's go ahead and try the Foxwell battery analyzer BT705 on the old generation 9.5 as well. I hope you guys can see the analyzer, it's right here, it's 
the Foxwell BT705 and here is the battery in the car. So I'm going to connect the analyzer to the battery and we're going to get the same measurement that we got inside. So it's going to show the voltage. It's 11.98 so it's probably in need of some charge. So for this test we're going to go into the menu and we're going to go into battery test 12 volt system and it's actually inside the vehicle. Connectors on the top it's a regular battery CCA 615 it's testing please wait it says the battery is still okay it can provide 481 crank amps when it says 615 on the battery so to b continue the test we press enter <coughs> it says start engine so let's start up the engine I don't know if you can hear me, but it says cranky normal, which means it's probably okay. And here we can press enter again to, to uh, continue to the charging test. I hope you guys can hear me with all the noise in the background. So now it's checking for alternator output and it says rev engine with load stuff. So I have turned off the lights and we're going to turn off the climate control as well. And I'm going to rev the engine. Now it says engine rev detected, idle engine, press enter to continue, so let's do that. Testing alternator at idle, loads off. Turn high beams and blower motor on, idle engine and press continue, so we're going to do that. I'm going to turn on all the lights and the blower motor as well. and high beam as well. So now the load is on, let's press enter to continue. Testing alternator at idle, loads on. Rev engine with loads on. And it says engine rev detected, idle engine, press enter to continue. Turn off loads and engine. So we're going to turn off the loads and the engine. And then we press enter to continue. And we finally got to the page where it says no problems. So charging with no load 14.02, charging with load 13.53. So that's probably okay. So I will keep this in the car. It's amazing, six or seven years now. I just hope it continue working this well. So I don't need to change it, but if I need to change it, I actually have a identical battery on the shelf so no problem with that so this was really a nice test I wish I had the optional Bluetooth printer so I could print out a test report on the battery but I don't so we just have to settle with the screen and 
what you have seen here today. As you could see, the test with the old generation 9.5 went very well. So it passed all the tests and the, the status of the battery is actually quite good, despite being six, seven years old now. So that was really nice. I can continue driving the old generation 9.5 with the current battery. Thanks to Foxwell BT705, I now know the status. I think the instrument is really nice. It feels sturdy. And having the optional Bluetooth printer as a uh, feature is really nice. So when you're in a garage, workshop or similar, you might do this on a daily basis. Since I only have three cars, I need to check this maybe once a year or not even that. So I'm not really in need of a Bluetooth printer printing some uh, reports for myself. For you guys, I took photos of the complete report for the old generation 9.5. So at the end, it displays all the data it collected in four different pages. It might have been difficult out there viewing the screen throughout the different steps in the test. I will put the pictures in a Dropbox link or a box link so you can download them and see the test result for yourself. So big thanks to the guy who lent me this and uh, I might just get one of these myself, maybe, I don't know. If I do, I probably will get the Bluetooth printer just because it's fun. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, and by the way, this can be found on Wish, eBay, Amazon or similar shops online. So just go ahead and look for it. I think it's between 150 and 200 euros for this instrument and that's without the Bluetooth. You can probably find cheaper ones out there. Anyhow, thanks for watching today and drive safe. I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.